Welcome fans to MPW Presents Blackheart. My name is Mike Wexler and I have the honor and privilege of calling this non-title national title match, non-title national, probably both, with the legendary Pinky Santino, general manager of MPW. How are you doing? I'm doing real good and you're right, it is a non-title match, but you know what? Chris Nasty going one-on-one -on -one with Diego Valens and you gotta believe, if Chris Nasty can come away with the win here, he should be a number one contender. Absolutely, and fans, we do want to remind you that Diego Valens is set to defend the national title over at the Classic against Adrian Quest, but what a big win this would be, as you had said, for Chris Nasty to get a win over the national champion, Diego Valens, who's already on a roll in his current reign. Oh yeah, you're not lying, and he's taking on all challengers, I'll tell you that right now. Absolutely, and Again, we already start off with the call and elbow tie-up. Both men are trying to gain control. And Pinky, this is a style, a different style match between two, two different styles. We have Diego Valens, who has more of the speed, versus Chris Nasty. Oh, as we kind of see a little bit of a maybe a tease to the handsome devil there. And but we have Chris Nasty, who has more of a luchador kind of style. Well, oh wait, look at this. What? Talk What's about styles. We're getting a little bit of a dance off going on in there. What was that called? That's called Lucky Ladies Be Happy. <laughs> But other than that, right now we have another collar and elbow tie-up. And again, Chris Nasty does have the power advantage in this match, but don't count out Diego's speed as we see right there. Wow! Well, I don't know if he exactly has the power advantage because I've seen Diego Valens hit the gym. That guy's a beast, but he might have a little bit of a size <laughs> advantage. But look at this! Chris um, Nasty with a little bit more agility. Oh my God, what a hurricane run by Diego Valens. I, I, I would actually say these guys are matching up pretty well. <laughs> Hands such a takeover by Chris Nasty. A hot star already. Chris Hernandez at a count of one. Now wait a minute. Both men going at it. What a hot start we have over here at MPW's Blackheart Picky Santino. Oh yeah, you're not online. And I don't know if you hear in the background, Pinky, the fans are saying both of these guys, and I have to agree with them, both respected competitors all over Southern California. Oh yeah. You're not oh wait. Uh, what's it going on over here? A little bit of a roll. Look at this. Woo Huge drop kick to the face. Cover. I Once again, I'd have to call it the best drop kick in all of MPW. And the guys in the back could go ahead and challenge that, but I haven't seen a better one yet. It's the height and the versatility of Diego Valens that was shown right there with that drop kick. And now off the ropes. Oh, into the corner. And oh, did you hear the sound of that European uppercut with the chops? And I believe you have a saying for the chops. Oh, they do, and that is, oh, <laughs> the first, second, and third plate of chops has been served up for the night. Absolutely, and Chris Nasty right now in a load of trouble, uh, hanging off the ropes there, so he kind of has maybe time to relax, maybe time to regather himself. Oh, and now he's at ringside. He's being hung out to dry like a piece uh, of beef jerky drying out. Definitely, but you cannot count the ability of Chris Nasty. Again, we talk about that Lucha Libre style, but in a match against Diego Valens, I mean, we've seen it already in the early goings. I mean, both the uh, competitors have each other's numbers. Oh yeah, you're not lying, look at this. Over the ropes, and oh, Tildero lands on his feet. Yeah! Goes for the head scissors, oh! oh! Big time, sidewalk slam! A, sli a sidewalk slam, back rear combination, cover. Only a two count, says Chris Hernandez. And again, we talk about the heart and passion of both competitors. Chris Nasty, uh, ever since coming back to MPW, oh, from a back suplex like that, has been looking to get on a roll here in MPW. Maybe some championship gold in the future. Yeah, you know what? He's not here each and every one, each and every week, but I'm sure he wants to change that. And if he gets a hold of that gold, I'm sure that will change. Absolutely. I mean, the same thing goes alongside with Diego Valens. I mean, as the defending, oh, national champion. My God. Oh, was that the third plate, the fourth plate, the chops? I, I don't know how many chops that was, but I'm, I'm sure they heard that all the way in Reseda. Oh, my God. Yeah, Is he calling for one more? No, 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 no. no. That too, right, Picky? Um, yeah, I heard that. How could you not? It sounded like a gunshot. Like a shotgun to the chest off the ropes. Chris Nasty over the reversal. Uh, going for the world's greatest drop kick, as you said. Oh! A little bit of a Pele kick to the face. And the fans here at MPW loving Chris Nasty. Yeah, they're liking both of these guys, and why not? These guys are putting on one hell of a match. One, two, only a two count. 
And again, we have to give credit to Diego Valens as the current reigning and defending national champion. I mean, he's been proving himself every single week here in MPW, taking on all challenges, as we said before. Yo, yeah. Diego Valens ain't, ain't ducking anyone, I'll tell you that much right now. And right now, Chris Nasty applying the chin lock right now, trying to cut off the circulation of Diego Valens. But again, you can't hear, you can hear in the background, the fans riling up the hands of Devil, and it shows right here. Gets out of it with a big European uppercut, sends him off to the ropes. Chris Nasty ducks the line. Oh, look at this. Rebound and oh, big time lariat. Definitely vintage Chris Nasty. The Lucha Scumbag on a roll right now. Here's the cover. Well, I don't know if Chris Nasty has been wrestling long enough for anything to be vintage, but that is definitely one of his moves that he likes to use every time he's in there. Absolutely. Chris Nasty has been in the ring with those of MPW, such as Miggy Rose, Jordan Cruz at one point in time, and he has been uh, putting on some classic matches ever since. Oh, my. Is that desserts at this point of chops? I don't, I don't know what you call that. Yeah, they're going all out with those chops, and this is only the first match. Absolutely. And Chris Nasty right now gaining control has him over at the hardest part of the ring of the apron. And oh, oh wait a minute. Oh! 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 Touch of the mustache. Oh! Ten chest close by Chris Nasty and love the fans here love it. Absolutely, and fans, you can watch matches like this every Friday night here at 19801 North Off Place in Chatsworth, California. The only show in all of Southern California that is here every single Friday night with action just like this. <laughs> oh, my God, high knee to the side of the face. Off the ropes. Oh, and a huge lariat. And Diego Valens getting back into this match. Oh, look at this reversal. Sends him into the corner. The champ in the corner. Oh, my God. Ooh. Nobody in the pool. Oh, high knee coming off the ropes. And Diego Valens is on fire. The former MPW champion showing why he is one of the best. He's the current champion, Wexler. What are you talking about? The well, world champion, of course, national champion off the ropes. Oh, huge neck breaker cover. Only a two count says Chris Hernandez. That could have been it right there, Piggy Santino. It could have, and I'm surprised there wasn't. And again, both men are showing out in this opening contest here at MPW Blackheart. Both of at 110%. You could have called this a national title match already if it wasn't a non-title match. Oh, yeah, you're not right. But you know what? Here at MPW, we fight every single week. And Chris Nasty is not scared to earn that title shot. Oh, no. He has the German suplex position. Oh, my God. Chris Nasty with the double kick to the chest area. Oh! Big forearm shot, look at this, sweeping the leg, and here he comes, oh! A little bit of a face wash for the handsome devil right there. A little bit, jeez. I think his nose ended up with our with our sound guy. I mean, hopefully he's still handsome after this, but Chris Nasty, oh wow. Oh, wait a minute. Oh! Looking arrow, he got all of it. One, two, oh. what? Only a two count says Chris Hernandez, the referee. That could have taken out anybody else, but Diego Valens had the willpower to kick out of that. Oh, yeah, you're not lying. Diego Valens, whether he's the championship is on the line or not, cheats every match exactly the same, and he gives it 100% every single time. Absolutely, and both men are not giving up here. They're fighting at 110%. They are not going to give out, especially in this non-title match, and the MPW faithful riling up both competitors. Oh, look at this. I've seen this before. Oh, wait a minute. Diego Valens reversed it. A little bit of a face buster maneuver. Yeah, he dropped him flat on his face. And, and look. Oh, wait a minute. Go for the devil's tail. Can he get it? Can Ooh. he? Oh. Two back elbows. Three of them. Oh, no. Oh, my. Big time super kick. Hey, Chris Nasty, this could be his moment right here. Oh, we've seen this before, Pinky. Oh, reverses. Oh! Devil's Tail! He got all of it! Devil's Tail to Chris Nasty. Cover! One, two, three! And Diego Valens gets a huge victory over Chris Nasty. Millennium Pro Wrestling fans, Barry Sweeney here, along with the Shady King, Remy Morgan. Wow! Guess we're getting.
getting off to a hot start here, Barry. We sure are the menace, Leo Canedo, and some dude killing Tyler Williams in the ring here at MPW Blackheart. Here at 1901 Nordoff Plates in Chatsworth, California. Oh my goodness, Barry, Leo is so intense and he just, he came out so hot and I don't think we were ready for that. And he just gets bigger and bigger every week and more vicious at that. I mean, Leo Canedo is one of the most dangerous competitors in the MPW ring in any ring in Southern California. And whoa! I think he's crossed the line from being a menace into just being a, a downright terror, Barry. Absolutely. Talk about a terror. This is some dude oh, chilling. And he is unfazed. He's showing no fear here. Absolutely. And look at the guy who's gained some size himself. It's been a minute since we've seen him in an MPW ring. Atomic drop applied. Oh, oh my goodness! Larry is standing all six foot five with that height. Man, these guys you... are just throwing everything to each other right away here, Barry. I mean, you gotta. <laughs> Leo Canedo set the terms. Oh! oh I don't think I've heard a chirp that loud, chop that loud from uh, Ty Williams. Before. I don't know what is going on here, but man, Barry, these gloves are off, and these boys are throwing them. Absolutely, and we were talking about Ty Williams, Tyler Williams, some dude chilling, has gained an aura, he's improved his game, taking it a bit more seriously. I, I've never seen him this aggressive before. Oh! What a power slam! What a what an absolute monster Leo has become. Only two, but I mean, Remy, you said it. Leo Canedo, an absolute monster. He's huge. He can dictate the pace of a match. He can decide whether or not you're going to make it out unscathed oh. or with all your limbs attached. I mean, Ty Williams has his work cut out for him, but you're talking about a guy who's gained some size as well, gained some skills as well. I can't wait to see if he can showcase that in this match. You know, oh my goodness. Both of these guys have really kind of evolved here over the, you know, last year or so of their career. Leo becoming bigger and, and more terrifying, and now uh, some dude chilling. Tyler Williams just showing this new, new aggression. Quick sunset flip reversal. Up, oh, only two. Oh, takes it back and forth. God, I mean, we know SVC. Tyler Williams is an expert in those quick roll-up attempts, those sunset flips, those things that can change a match on a dime. These guys, they're really throwing bombs here at each other, and everything that Leo throws at SDC, SDC, SDC throws it right back. Absolutely, Tyler Williams. I mean, that's something else that I expected that he would be blow for blow match. Uh, Whoa, match my gosh! What, what do we have here, Barry? What is this? You know what happens oh, next? Oh no! Midsection. How do you combat that, Barry? Oh, and then straight right back to those ribs again. And right out of the ring into the menace's territory. And again, the show of disrespect from Leo Cato is to be expected. But Tyler Williams showing a lot of grit right now. He's getting back up to his feet alone. Let's see if he can get back in that ring. The man is telling the referee to count faster. I think maybe he wants this match to be over, Barry. Yes, I don't think Leo Canedo expected to get, get the, the, the blowback from Tyler Williams. The blowback from SDC. He's, oh, he, he's yelling at us now. He said he's tired of him. Yes, sir. I won't tell Leo Canedo how to wrestle. He won't tell me how to do my job. How about that? Tyler Williams slowly struggling back into the ring. Those ribcage. Yeah, I think you said it best, Barry. I, I think Leo did not expect this house of fire that has been SDC Tyler Williams. Absolutely. The damage could have been done to the ribcage in the back there. Oh! oh! The aggression again. God, and just coming in with all that velocity there. Oh, the longer this goes on, the more intense Leo gets. Oh, he made a mistake. Into the safe corner now. SDC catches. Very, very valuable breaths in those lungs there. Oh, gets the put up just in time. SDC mounting a little bit of offense here. Can he string some together? Whoa. Oh. Quick roll up once again. One, two, oh. Leo kicked out. Nearly had him, and now the advantage could be his. Whoa. And what Whoa. star? Just get on that cover. Cover. One, two, oh. Man, I, I really thought that was it. He hit that outlaw star, got absolutely all of it, but was slow to get to that leg cover there, go to hook the legs, and that could make the difference in a match like this. SDC, SDC, look at this energy, look at this fire. Have you ever seen this before? Not at all, I mean, that fire is blazing hot. Oh, oh and some of those kicks, oh my God. Another one, straight to the chest. Kick his head off. Oh my oh. goodness. SDC means business oh. here tonight. Miscalculation. Oh, catches him into a powerbomb position. 
that oh. absolutely spikes him. I don't know. God, going is for this that it? Are we driver. Done oh, stone, yeah. middle of the ring. That has to be it. One, two, three. Oh my goodness, what a match, Barry. But thanks for coming, Tyler Williams. Tyler Williams. That is just what I can do to the 19 others in the California Classic in two weeks. I'm sorry for the poor soul. I got in front of the menace. Leo Canedo calling his shot with the California Classic. That's on August 4th. Do all you want. I'm winning that damn thing. Leo calling his shot here. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Millennium Pro Wrestling Presents Blackheart. And we have a stacked tag team match here. My name is Mike Wexler, and I have the honor of calling this match with the legendary Barry Sweeney. And we have the Divines versus Royal Candy Richie Slade and Cody Prince. How hyped are you for this tag team match? Royal Candy, you come up with that one, Chef Wex. I am so excited for this match. Not only for the Brothers Divine in action, the reigning MPW champion and Brendan Divine, but... Once again, Cody Prince in action, Richie Slade in action, two of the best looking guys in professional wrestling. I think bar none. And not only are they good looking, but they're good in that ring as well. More than good, I would say. And on top of that, these guys can take the Divines to their limit, which I think is something they've been searching for ever since they decided to reunite as a tag unit. Absolutely. I mean, the Brothers Divine are considerably one of the best tag teams of the West Coast and even of Southern California. But Richie Slade and Cody Prince, I mean, their chemistry, you see it, and you see the flawlessness that they have as a tag team as well. Magnetic, but I mean, it remains to be seen when you're put to the test, you gotta be the best, but Richie Slade, he's no slouch in tag team wrestling himself. I would call him an expert as well on the car with the Divines, but meanwhile, this is home turf for the Divines. They're coming in here very, very confident right now anyway. And Cody Prince, as well as he knows, both Danny and Brendan, is in for one hell of a challenge. Absolutely, and Danny Divine grabbing at the hair right there. I understand he's trying to do everything he can to get ahead in this match, but as you get here in the background, Barry, the MPW faithful loving some royal candy. Listen, I mean, they're so magnetic. Their charisma is ripping off of them. Not only that, but Cody Prince, I mean, holding his own right now, as we can see. Oh, wow. <laughs> Beautiful transition into the headlock. Off the ropes, Danny Devine. Oh, and a huge shoulder block right there by Cody Prince, the musician genius and also the prince of MPW. He's a man of many talents. Whoa, no one home there. Oh, no, off the ropes. Ducks it. Oh! oh. And the MPW champion. Oh, but did you see that kip up right there? Beautiful. Just beautiful. Whoa! Oh, but wait a minute. Wow, the athleticism of Cody Prince right there. He makes it look easy. And that, <laughs> along with a beautiful drop kick like that, is the quality you can expect. From Cody Prince and Richie Slade. Meanwhile, Richie Slade, eye candy, making his way to the ring now. Oh! Right into a kick from the champion. And don't discredit Danny Devine. He has been on a roll ever since becoming a five-time MPW champion back in December. And he's been on a roll ever since in singles competition and in tag team competition as well. Wax, listen, there are rolls and then there are reigns. And right now, Danny Devine's reign as the MPW champion! <laughs> is unlike anything we have seen, much like that forearm off the rope. Hockey pin from Richie Slade, but this match continues all the same. But notice how they're isolating Danny from Brendan. They're keeping that sibling and tag team connection coming apart. But here's Brendan Devine now. Absolutely, Brendan Devine, as we stated on commentary before, I consider him the ace of MPW. He's been putting on nothing but bangers here at MPW with Matt Vandergrim. Oh my gosh, as we see a beautiful drop kick by Richie Slade. Well, you, you can talk about bangers all you want. He's got two upside the head <laughs> of Richie Slade and the confidence is key here. These two don't care how many championships these two have held. They don't care if the reigning MPW champion is behind, uh, beside them. What they care about is getting that win and making it look pretty. What is that? The, the second, third serve of chops for the night? Listen, I'm already full, man. I'm that first match. <laughs> oh my goodness! Out of the first 
couple matches I, I've had my fill, but there's going to be plenty more tonight here at 99801. Man oh. off place! Backbreaker like that, deep cover! But only a two count, says Victor Quintez, the referee. And all credit to Richie Slade. He has been a tag team specialist, a singles star as well. And he definitely has to be up there as known as one of the greats. Absolutely. And look at the experience being withheld here. A little. And the confidence <laughs> as well. I love the guy. Oh. Look at how isolated they've kept the device. Whoa, quick pin. Only a two count, says Victor Quintes. And to go off your point, yes, he, they're keeping the Divines isolated. And they're trying to keep one brother off the other. And that's why I give credit to Royal Candy. They've been very magnetic. They've been very on sync, considering, considering that they're a fairly, fairly new tag team here in MPW. Absolutely no strings attached. They are in sync, just like that drop kick. Deep cover once again. Champion nearly came in to break up that pin. And nearly three, but the match continues. But these two are taking the device. They have no answers so far. And they've got to resort to these kind of tactics. Two on one, as per usual. Absolutely. I mean, that's how the divines work. They like to, again, isolate the opponent. They like to take them out one at a time instead of head on. Absolutely. And the champion is great at putting you on an island. But no one's home. And Cody Prince. Out of four, five. Wex, I'm losing count already. Oh, that was 11. 11 to the corner. Off the rope. Oh. Big boot upside the head. Cover. But again, only a two counts as Victor Quint says the referee. I mean, again, all credit to Cody Prince. He's been here in MPW for quite some time. But again, compared to Danny Devine, as much as I disagree with him on a lot of things, you cannot deny that he has been on a different level. The champion has been in top form, reaching his peak, I would say, reaching his prime. I don't think we've even seen the best yet. I don't know who's going to beat him at this point. But talk about a guy who knows very well and Cody Prince. He may have the answer. And then he's looking for that super kick. Oh, look at that. Tag. Off the ropes. Oh! Right upside the neck and going German oh. Suplex across the ring! Cover! But only Nearly three. Did you see that combination of the hot shot mixed in with that German suplex? Listen, using momentum to their advantage. The divides are experts in this just like they are in most of the tag team field. <laughs> Off the ropes now. Oh! Sliding drop kick to the lower back. Cover. Cody Prince staying alive right now. And you were talking about if anyone can match Danny Devine, the champion, if anyone can match you, the so-called ace, Brendan Devine. I mean, Cody Prince has known them for so, so long. We might not see him often here at FBW, but he's got so much resilience, so much grit, and so much confidence to boot. And Richie Slade is begging to get back in that ring. And as you can hear in the background, Barry, the MPW faithful getting behind Royal Candy here. Absolutely, with that royal green and royal red. I mean, listen, the confidence of these two here. I don't think you want to challenge them. Just the contest of grit. Oh! I felt that from here. That's all I can say is I felt that from here. <laughs> I felt that in my feelings. Come on now. A huge cover. And that wasn't to get that win, that was to send a message there. Send a message to the fans that he's barking at, but also to send a message to the rest of the MPW faithful and rest of the MPW locker room that the champ is not to be trifled with. And here's a tag from Brendan Devine. Now, oh, this doesn't look good, Barry, right here. Maybe double suplex. Oh, and they hit it. And it's that height. Oh, taking out Richie Slade as well. It's that height of Cody Prince that comes into the play where, look at this, oh, choking! Oh. Come on right here, this is unnecessary. Richie Slade decided to defend the honor of his tag team here. And wait, J Danny Devine, uh, wait, Victor, that, that was an attack. What he heard is might as well be what he saw, and he was too busy trying to police corral Richie Slade, and that could very well be the deciding factor of this match here at MPW Black Heart. And look at the confidence of the MPW World Champion, Danny Devine. Again, I say as a singles competitor or as a tag team specialist, he could do it all. Absolutely! Oh. <laughs> Cody Prince never saying die. And oh no, off the ropes. Oh, what a fire! Off the ropes, both men down! 
Both men have the opportunity to get the tag and get back into this match, but the fans in the background are going for their Prince of MPW and Cody Prince. Absolutely, and Ricky Slade chomping at the bit, ready to mind, waiting to get his bearings. Danny going for that tag, and he gets it. Danny gets the tag, but Cody tags in Richie Slade, and Richie Slade, the eye candy, going on a roll right now. Absolutely, a man possessed up the road with reverse. Oh, beautiful swing blade off those ropes. Richie Slade sides it up, and oh, Ooh. catches the champion mid pop. Wow, oh, what a face buster. The eye candy again. Oh, wait, what's this right here? Oh, my God, Slade Blade! Oh. Right off the champion, Dana Vine, deep, deep cover. Oh, my. How was that a two? It was that leverage on the shoulders that Richie was missing, but they're not giving up yet. These men in this tag match have been absolutely stellar at not letting, wasting any time, not letting any time go past that they can capitalize on. Absolutely, and oh, look at the height of that suplex, but no. And it blocks it. Oh, a little bit of Richie. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh! Wait a minute! Unintentionally running into each other, tags in Danny Devine. A noggin knocker and oh, no, Kent, it's a super kick! Oh, ducks the close. Super up. kick! Come on! Brendan Devine and it's a time! If Brendan Devine was not there, very like Danny could have been done. It would have been over by now. Absolutely, that super kick was right on the money. We've seen Cody Prince and bloody a match with that. Oh, and he's but looking to do it again. He's but, wait a minute. Wait, Richie Slade tagging himself in? Well, I mean, the match could very well be decided here, but a difference in strategy could be the difference maker here. Oh, looking for the slice bread again. Off the rope, no! Oh, tags in Brendan, unintentional. Oh! Huge forearm to the face. Right, that trap, O'Connor roll! This be it! One, two. Oh! oh into an exit curry! And God, I can't believe that they my. stole it another one. Vital miscommunication at the hands of Richard Slade and Cody Prince here, but that tag team, that royal candy, can still taste just as sweet now. Absolutely. One hell of a call. Oh. Wait, what? That's we spoke too soon. Richie Slade upset, and I understand it was slow. Listen, their eye wasn't on the ball. Perhaps that goal of the championship, that goal of, of further glory, clouding Richie Slade. I don't know. You Oh, no, not again. I hate to see it get to this point. I mean, Cody Prince had the match in the bag, but Richie Slade, perhaps valid criticism, but maybe not in the package that Cody Prince might have wanted it. And we can see the... The MPW faithful behind Cody Prince. I mean, we'll see what happens in the next match. Absolutely. You know, nice to meet you, Thad Maximus. I'm Barry Sweeney alongside General Manager Pinky Santino. This is Millennium Pro Wrestling Blackheart. And we are here in a singles competition. Thad Maxim is making his MPW debut against Super Hops. Oh yeah, Super Hops. Coming straight off the pages of your comic books, right to the center of this ring, but... You are Michael Hopkins! Wait, wait a minute. That, listen, come on. Those accusations. Uh, yeah. That's not true, is it? I've never seen him in the same room, but you know, it's not one to acknowledge that. Listen, call him super off to call him whatever you like. He has been having a bit of an identity crisis lately, especially with the influence of Nicky Rose and uh, Super Beetle, Black Beetle, being what he is. Yeah, I don't even want to talk about that. Absolutely not. We'll see that in our main event, but that Maximus here, I mean, you know, uh, he calls himself collegiate. I, I tried looking him up. Uh, you he, know, he's a frat boy. That's what he is. He's Yeah, he's in college, but I don't... 
I don't think he ever went to any classes. No, and as a matter of fact, he's not exactly a Division One athlete to say the very least. He hangs out at a lot of USC parties, don't get me wrong, but uh, you know, I think he's more of a DeVry University kind of guy. Oh. Uh, but he's mean and he's big and he's awfully strong and we'll see some of his rookie year. Whoa. Oh, look, look at him. He got scared. He scared him. He absolutely called his number. Whoa! Catching that elbow. Oh, there's a bad match. Oh, God. Oh! Big shoulder tackle from Superhawks. Did you see that? He ran all the way around the world and gave him a shoulder tackle. Absolutely. So fast we couldn't see it. But no one on with a big splash. Bad Maximus, I mean, again, credit where credit's due. He's had one hell of a rookie year here. A Santino student. Superhero landing! Superhero landing! Did I you see that? I love it when he does that! It's bad on the knees, but I got I love seeing it. Oh! <laughs> Sorry to intro. That is fine. Wow, here comes that splash and a big perfect cover. Only two. There's no timeouts! One. To, only a two count. This ain't your lacrosse game. This is professional wrestling, buddy. Lacrosse, he does look like he'd play lacrosse. Absolutely. He's got the haircut. Yeah. It's just the handsome stuff. Ugh. Off the ropes. Oh, no one over the Superman punch. Oh, look at that. He, look at this. Thad Maximus ain't laughing no more. Absolutely. I mean, listen, you can tell time out all he wants, but the count's going to continue if he's not in the ring. Oh, my God. Thinking you do these chops just as better than I ever could, but justice and super hops go hand in hand. So, oh my god! Oh, yeah, you ain't lying. The, those super chops from super hops, and now he's gonna bring him in with the super suplex. But look at bad Maximus blocking using that weight of his, that strong, dense base. Oh, wait a minute! Oh, whoa, whoa. Oh, oh. oh no! Oh no! God. That got real old real quick. Might hear that one more time. They're like, cute. He just shoved him just like a bully that shoved a nerd into a locker. Like, I, I know you felt that, Barry. Oh, sorry, sorry, Barry. Uh, it's, it's the confidence in what you said that that's kind of exciting. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. yeah. But we'll get to that later. I'll take it off my therapist. But all the same, dangerous territory right now is Thad Maximus just shoves super hops around. Oh, come on. Shoving him right in the fan's face. Uh, there we go. Oh, right off the barricade! Back into the ring is Thad Maximus powering across from Super Ops. Oh, he grabs oh the hair and mask! Come on! Look, did you see that? Even with that cover, he just draped that forearm over the face and mask of Super Hops. Picking. You pointed it out plenty of times when someone puts that elbow, that forearm, that hard bone right in your neck. I mean, you're fighting for your air as well as just getting back up in that fight. Oh, yeah. So, mm -hmm. Look at this chin lock here. This is well applied from that match. Yeah, referee St. Clair is going to have to make sure that he's not going for a choke there because I don't think I'd put it past him. Absolutely not. As we can see from Dad Max, he will scoop to no low to impress the, uh, well, I don't want to say the ladies, but I mean, perhaps it's what he's doing it for. He's certainly yelling at the kids. Yeah, big man yelling at kids, right? Absolutely. There we go. Dad Max is in the corner. Super Hops regaining that win. Whoa! Atomic drop! Oh my god, big time, big boot! Turns Super Hops inside out! Oh, what has he got going there? Oh. What a leg drop! And that tree trunk thigh of Thad Maximus crashing down on the neck of Super Hops. Is it bad of me to, to want to see him get his mouth smashed in? Because if I have to, like you said, if I have to hear him yell, yeah, buddy, one more time. Oh, oh wait a minute. You know, droll, uh, you know, expert. I think that was Keats, uh, perhaps uh, uh, Shelly. I'm not sure, but, you know, very wise words with that match. You know, general manager, sir, I'd try to be impartial here. I'd like to see him get his mouth smashed in, too. 
And so the MVW faithful clearly. King for Super Hop's name. And look at this. Super Hop's feeding off the crowd. Oh! oh. Created that separation only to get hammered down by Thad Maximus. Big man on campus dresses out with a power slam there. Oh, give me a break. Just go for the cover if you want to try to win the match. Oh, what is he doing? I, I, I don't know if I've seen his repertoire. What's he going for here? 450, 630? Can he count that high? Oh, he can't do that, can he? Well, listen, he's on the top rope all the same. He was chirping at our audience. Oh! oh! And Zakari right on the jaw. Dangerous territory here. I think Bad Max was about to go up, up and away. Oh, wait a minute. Look at this. Thad fighting for his life in there. Oh, it's close to the kidney. Oh, oh and a vicious headbutt. Right on the cheekbone. Here it goes. The super, super, super oh, flex. Goodness gracious. Off the top rope. Driving him onto his head. But look at this. The damage may very well have been done to Super Hops. Normally in the Saturday morning cartoon, they say to be continued. Will Super Hops overcome? But this is MPW, baby. And we are here to see Super Hops and Fat Max to see this match through tonight. Oh, yeah. And ladies and gentlemen, if you want to be here with us, join us every single Friday night. 19801 Norwalk Place in Chatsworth, California. Absolutely. No, God, my super ups. Give him that super beat down. Lefts and rights. Oh! I couldn't even see his fists. Just a blur of motion off the ropes and that beautiful flying clothesline. He is fired up. Oh, here it comes. Here it comes. Oh! Two kicks! Trouble in Metropolis, but no one home! He... Dad had it scouted, and look at the... He's wasting too much time! Going for a lariat, perhaps! Oh! Caught by Super Hop! Trouble in Metropolis! I think that's it! Gotta flip him over onto his big back of his! One! Two! He got the rope! He got the rope! I don't believe it! I got I gotta say, if he was in the center of the ring, this one would be over. Absolutely, it would have been over. It would have been a 10 count, he still wouldn't have gotten up. But look, look, credit where credit's due. He gets that DeVry University, the Phoenix University from him. He did grab those up. That's great ring awareness and well ring awareness to catch that punch. Oh, what a knee! And he's not done. Oh no. What is he setting up for here? Wait a minute. Into referee St. Clair. Oh, oh into the He got him in the eye. No. Don't tell me it's over like this. Flagging him through into the flat line over the shoulder. No. And do you believe in miracles? Because I do, and I believe in superheroes too. Super Hop still in this fight. Bad Maximus again for all that strength, for all that ring awareness that he's showcasing this match. This is his debut match. He's looked like he's been here, but at the same time, he's clearly so gotten to by all these fans. Oh my God! What? Is, oh no! The family show. Hey. Come on! Oh wait a minute! He's, he's using the tape. He's using the tape. Could have been me disqualification, but Sinclair again. Oh, come on! He's just begging to get dq But I, I know that Super Hops would not want to win that way. I, I, I'm sure he'd be upset if that's how it ended. Absolutely. I mean, the Super Hops... Oh, give me a break. This guy's a bully. He's a bully. I saw it for the moment he just that curtain, but I didn't see that coming. Here comes Super Hops. Superman punch! Oh, he got all one, 
two, three! Super Hawk takes the lead! Oh, wait a minute, what is this? Miggy Rose making his way out! Seeing this devil try to tap Super Hawk before him, what does he have to say now? Hey! Congrats on the win, big man! And you still doing it like this? Superhawks fighting for the people! You think these people want some fake superhero? You want to pander to these idiotic nerds who spent hours and hours on Disney Marvel movies? There's the biggest nerd right there! Look at him! Look at him, Hops! Dude, it's Comic Con. Right? He's got no Riz! <laughs> He's got no Malacitas! <laughs> These people can't save you like how I can save you, Hops. They, they don't have what I have. If he says Riz or Drip, I swear to God. And it's the gold, baby! Fair enough. Speaking of gold, I see you added a new addition to the costume. Is, is that 24 karat gold I see? Because it looks good on you, big man. That's Kryptonian gold. That's Kryptonian gold. Kryptonian gold. Hey, no. I'm not doing this. No, don't listen to this guy. Hops, hops, hops. Come see the stars with me. See the stars. Make your own choices, Hops! <laughs> Miggy Rose wanted Hops to see the stars? What the, what, what the hell is this guy talking about? Did I just take away your little superhero? Oh, give me a break. Cry me a river. To MPW's Blackheart. I should say welcome back to MPW's Blackheart. This is Chris Kloss sitting next to general manager, or should I say President Pinky, Pinky Santino, and this is the semi-main event. A stacked card we have from top to bottom. Still our main event to come following this matchup, but one-on-one -on -one action right now. Barbie Boy and Ray Rosas. A contrast of styles, a contrast of attitude. Oh yeah, you're not lying. And I, I was mistaken uh, for a little bit. I almost thought we were going to see a match between Eddie Rohr and the fans, the way that he's yelling at them. He yelled at us when he came out here, which is a problem. Then again, what's Ray Rosas' problem? What the he's hell got is a lot this? of them. Is he stretching, Ray? Stretching. Calisthenics, is that what that is? He can't stretch him himself? I guess not. I think, I think this is the last thing we needed was to give Ray Ro Rosas someone that, that just literally... I'm stretching his legs for him. <laughs> wow. Leave it to Ray Rosas. What the hell is Eddie Roar doing? Barbie look, Boy now. Look at this. Barbie Boy not backing down. No, and he's eager to get things started. Ray Rosas not eager. Oh. And, uh... Referee literally having his hands full already before the bell sounds. Uh, I, I hate to say this, but Ray Rosa is playing mind games against Barbie Boy. Barbie Boy, usually the master of the mind games. Well, then again, you're in there with the likes of a Ray Rosas as well. Mind games on a whole different level, these two. Oh! Finally! Yes! And now it's Barbie Boy roaring like a lion. Look at this now. Bell sounds, the semi-main event is underway here at MPW's Blackheart. Barbie Boy, Ray Rosas, one-on-one. Oh, Whoa. yeah. How many chops now? How many plates tonight, Pinky? Oh, they've been serving up, up hot and heavy all night long. But look at this. Big back body drop. Barbie Boy taking charge early on. 
and the fans are loving it. Bobby Boy car wheels right over into an elbow for the pin. One, two, only two, trying to end things way early. Oh, a little spanky, spanky. I guess Ray Rosa has been a bad boy. Yeah, yeah slapping the hems. Uh, look, oh, wait a minute. He ain't done. Look at this. I think we're about to see it. Are we going to see it? He's raising the roof. And. Uh oh. It's oh. a face full of cake. A face full of cake. Face full of cake. Is that what you call it? That's what, that's what it's called. Ray just got something sweet all over his face. Is that sweet? Is that what they, oh, okay. That's what I hear. Huh. I'll take your word for it. Off the ropes. Mostly, no. Makes it, oh. And Ray Rosas goes flying. Barbie Boy for the pin. Another near fall. Barbie Boy on a roll here in MPW of late. Of course, former MPW champion in there with the likes of the veteran personified Ray Rosas. On paper, an extraordinary matchup, Pinky. Oh, yeah, you're not lying. Well, we're seeing it right here. No, there ain't no paper speculation about it. That's Look right. at this. Well, we have and just talk, begun. Talk about paper speculation. What? Wait, what is this? Uh, just dancing cheek to cheek. Interesting, literally. But I got to say, I, I, I'm quite disappointed, and I want my $15 back. I went to see the Barbie movie, and I didn't see Barbie Boy in there once. Hey, Barbie Boy wasn't in the movie? No. Are you kidding me? No. I thought I was waiting the whole movie. After the credits, he never showed up. But oh, wait, wait a minute. minute. Damn it, Eddie Roar. That's Eddie Roar again. We knew he was going to be a nuisance and a problem. And he's a big problem right now for Barbie Boy as Ray Rosas capitalized on that distraction for the pin. One, two, no. And look at this. Barbie Boy staying in this match. But he is hurting. He took that shot right to the face and he's feeling oh. it. And that's right there what we're talking about with Ray Rosas. Tremendous experience. The veteran will put his intelligence, his ring savvy to good use and he'll do that against anybody. Ray Rosas now taking care of business as Barbie Boy was earlier on. The tide has turned. Oh, most definitely. But let's not forget he didn't do it alone. The tie turned because Eddie Roar grabbed the leg. Talking so, about grabbing the leg, he, Barbie Boy just grabbed his leg with his face. Yeah, mind games, both these guys. But just shady tactics. Shady straight up games from Ray Rosas. And of course, accompanying him, Eddie Roar ringside. Oh my God. Back and forth now. Oh, come on, look at that disrespectful pin. Gross. I don't even think he's, he's washed those pants since he was under the ring uh, last can, week. Do you remember that? We had the fire marshal here. The health department was here. And we are very, very fortunate here at the MPW Arena that nobody detected Ray Rosas for an entire week. Slept under the ring. Eating Funyuns, Wait, Reese's this, Peanut Butter Cups. This. One, two. Oh, oh. what you been calling bars? Oh, seven ups and root beers all week. I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe that clothesline that he just threw. My God. Ray Rosas, don't sell this guy short. Whatever you do, he will get the job done. He's in there with the former MPW champion to boot. And the fans giving it to Rosas here tonight at the MPW Arena, as they basically do every Friday night, Pinky. Oh, yeah. The only show in all of Southern California that's here every single Friday night. That's right, 19801 Nordoff Place fans, Chatsworth, California, every single Friday night. And cost, tell them about the big one. Oh, first weekend of August, Pinky. The big, big event. And guys are chomping at the bit to get there. You know what it is. The California Classic. Classic. That's right. What is this? Rick, Eddie Roar celebrating for what? Barbie Boy not out yet. Gas left in the tank. And you don't even see referee Sinclair, the gas station dinosaur, in there right now. And uh, talking about the California Classic, we can't forget that last week, Ray Rosas won the coveted number 20 spot in the Classic. Oh, yeah, he got it. He said he was going to do it. He guaranteed it. 
and he did it. That's why, like I say, you can't sell him short. No, no, what is this? Eddie Roar, come on, referee. Turn around. Look at Rosas. Rosas completely distracting the referee as Eddie Roar does his damage. This jackass outside doing jumpy jacks now. Jumping jackass. Scoop up. Rosas plants Barbie Boy. And now goes for a pin. Another disrespectful cover, but Barbie Boy kicks out. This is the semi-main event of the night. Chris Claus, Piggy Santino ringside, MPW's Blackheart, and listen to the MPW Arena. Oh yeah, they're powering up Barbie Boy. Look at this, oh. Wilson's now. What's he doing? He's measuring the former champ. Oh, oh. smash at wait, Barbie Boy out of scouting. Oh my god, huge right hand. Now Rosa's teetering on the outside. Barbie Boy trying to regain consciousness on the inside. Something's gotta give right here, Pinky. Barbie Boy, wait a minute, to the outside, rolling out, trying to clear the cobweb still. Oh, nailing him. Right in the hip. The hip joint. Oh, wait a minute, no. Let's go for the Dream House on the outside. Oh, oh no, oh, Barbie no. Boy! Barbie Boy went right into that steel ring post! And Ray Rosa scouted that as well! Right, in, right into the jagged edge of that steel ring post. Barbie Boy! Almost lifeless right now! Rosa's trying to clear the cobwebs! Oh, look at that smile on his face. This guy's sick! He's proud of himself for that one. It's absolutely pitiful, disgraceful. Eddie Roar now. We have Two this, on one, Pinky. Yeah, we have this jackal on the outside just yelling at Barbie Boy. Oh! Did you see that? Out of nowhere. Wait oh, a minute! Wait. Look out! Yeah! Right onto our floor right here. I felt the vibrations in my feet. You want to talk about desperation? I don't know where that came from because still, both men laid out on the floor. Who will get to their feet first? We don't, nobody wants to see this match end in a double count out, Pinky. Oh, I know I don't. And look at this. Wait, Eddie Roy made sure that Ray Rose has made it back in. Well, maybe that was... Good on his part. Well, no, but he went into a ring with a mad, vicious, and vengeful Barbie boy. Oh, what a roundhouse kick. And he got all of it. This one's got to be over. Hooks the leg. One, two. Oh, are you kidding me? Wow, what a match. Forget now, Pinky, on paper. You're right. This is a classic. Oh, yeah. As we're he, leading into the California Classic. You ain't lying, Klaus. These guys tearing it up. Everyone has a little bit of extra spring in their step headed into the California Classic. That's right. First weekend of August, fans. Right here, 19801 Nordop Place, Chatsworth, California. Live events. Tape every Friday night right here. That air on YouTube.com forward slash Millennium Pro Wrestling. Like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Oh, look at this, going for the double underhook. Oh, wait, he has him up. Could he be going for Adios Amigos? Barbie Boy slides out the back, sends him into the corner. And he's not done, here we go. Oh my God. Oh, he slingshotted him. Rolls him up, no. Rosa's rolling right out of it. Wait a minute, Barbie Boy. Little bit of an inverted rocker dropper. Absolutely. And now, one, two. Oh, was that close? Oh, was that close? That was extremely close. Barbie Boy thought he had him right there. So did I. So did the MPW Arena. However, the semi-main event tonight at MPW's Blackheart with Barbie Boy and Ray Rosas one-on-one -on -one continues. And look at this. Barbie Boy picking up Ray. He's going to be setting up for something big. He has to. Could he be going for the Dream House? Here he goes. Oh, wait. Ray pushes him off. Roundhouse kick through the mid, but... Oh no! He scouted it. Look at this! I don't even know what to call this. Almost like a, a, a standing like cross a, face. Or a standing STF almost. Had that leg hook too. But Barbie Boy into the ropes. Back kick, no, does not find the mark. Oh! Big spinning. Oh! Big super time. kick! Super kick! One, One two, two! Oh! The impact!
back-to-back -back kick. Barbie Boy's head went flying and somehow able to kick out. Wow, what a contest. Somehow, some way, Barbie Boy stays in this, and that is exactly why he holds on to half of those tag team titles. And Chris Klaus, I want to hear from all the fans down below. Comment on who you think should be receiving a tag team title match next. That is the question of the night for sure. But right now, the question is, who? Who is going to come out on top in this encounter? Will it be Ray Rosas or will it be Barbie Boy? And you know what the MPW faithful want, Pinky. Oh, you know. I, I think it's pretty clear. From Look. pillar to post out to the near side. Ray Rosas trying to isolate Barbie Boy, but no. Uh-oh. Barbie Boy scooping him up. The power shown by Barbie Boy. Oh yeah! Innovative offense! One, two, oh! Are you kidding? Barbie Boy can't believe it! I don't believe it either! Barbie Boy just hit him with a move that I've never seen before! Yeah. And, and I thought he had him! It looked like a um, an inverted Samoan drop face buster almost. Let's call it for now. Who knows? Maybe there's a Malibu name for that move. That we're unaccustomed to at the moment. Listen to these people. Pinky Santino. This place is going nuts. Bobby Boy. Look at the finish him up. No. What no. The hell? Damn it, Eddie Roar. It's like I said too. Oh yeah. Get him out of here. Good. Get him the hell out of here. Wait, wait, no. No. We just hit Adios Amigo. Oh no. He did. Adios Amigo. One. Bobby Boy looks lifeless. Wait a minute, that was three! Did you see that? His foot was on the rope and Roar pushed it off! Millennium Pro Wrestling fans, this is MPW Blackheart, this is Barry Sweeney alongside Mike Wexler, and this is our main event, the culmination of months in the making, number one contendership, Super Beetle and Dustin Daniels. Absolutely, Barry Sweeney, and what a main event this is. As you had said before, a number one contenders match, but this is more than a number one contenders match. This is Dustin Daniels' time to shine. All the hard work, all the pain he has been through for the past couple weeks with Juicy for now and so much more. And against Super Beetle, the best version of Super Beetle in my opinion, unstoppable and undefeated since becoming the Black Beetle. Listen, you say the best, and that may be true from a win-loss perspective, but this isn't the Beetle I know. This isn't the Beetle that the fans here love. This is a Beetle that's given in to temptation. This is a Beetle that's given in to those, those darker impulses. This is a Beetle in the black suit. And meanwhile, Dustin Daniels has carved his way to number one contendership. Has carved his way through strength, through will, and through power alone. And I emphasize alone. Whether or not Danny or Brendan Devine have been in his corner, Dustin Daniels had showed up and showed out every opportunity he's gotten. And say what you will about him, he deserves this. But Super Beetle has been on a tear lately, but I can't say that he's at his best. He might be his most dangerous, but certainly not at his best. Absolutely, the black Super Beetle has been dangerous, ruthless against people like Jordan Cruz at one point in time. And again, Dustin Daniels has to give that 110% that he has shown for the past several weeks in order to step toe to toe with this version of Super Beetle. Oh my goodness. Intercepts the leapfrog there, and both these men so hungry. Both these men chomping at the bit for a chance at glory, for a chance <laughs> at the MPW title held by Denny Devine. Absolutely, and the world champion looking very closely at this match. I mean, at one point in the spectrum, only a two count right there by Victor Quintus at one end of the spectrum, Super Beetle, who again, Danny Devine has defended the title against before, against Dustin Jacked. Daniels, a guy that I had mentioned before, has worked hard, has done every single thing and more to earn this opportunity. 
They've both earned it in their own ways. Perhaps Beetle by taking those shortcuts and perhaps Dustin by taking the long, more honorable road compared to the Divines anyhow. But you talk about the champion watching this match very closely. It's not just for a new contender, but imagine. Oh my God. Just imagine with the brutality on display here, if Dustin Daniels were to pull this up, what the champion would think with his protege. Oh my God. <laughs> Look at the rotation on that snapping suplex. This, again, Beetle has been on a tear, and that strength has clearly been on display. His willingness to do whatever it takes to get that win. There's another world, another universe, if you want to talk in comic book terms, where I would have been dying to see Super Beetle and BW Champion. Absolutely. Now I'm not so sure. I don't know either. I mean, Super Beetle, especially this version, I mean, I don't know what's in his head. What is getting to him to be more aggressive, more ruthless, more diabolical? I mean, listen, all of those traits sound like a villain to me, but he still considers himself MPW's resident superhero. He can still consider himself the hero that MPW deserves or needs or whatever he wants to quantify it with. But with that vicious horn butt, he's been winning those matches, but no one over the clothesline. What a <laughs> drop kick! Takes Beal to ringside. Dustin Daniels, this is your moment, Dustin. Make through with it. We have seen so many times Dustin Daniels overcome bigger, larger, more dangerous opponents. Oh! oh my God, what an instant gear. Ah. Oh. But never one so vicious, so willing to throw caution to the wind as Super Beetle right now. Oh, oh no, God. No, 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 no. Oh! oh Midsection into the barricade right over the ribs. But if we remember, fans, Dustin Daniels has been in this position before against Juicy for now, where the fans even chopped him at one point in time. Oh, God. And once again, just grinding his neck into the ring. Oh, my God. Oh! oh. Back chops. Goodness gracious. Oh, but Dustin Daniels. Oh, not backing down here, Barry. Thunderous chops of Dustin Daniels. Oh, Jack Daniels still in this fight. Oh. oh. And his head right off ringside. Now, we have seen Dustin Daniels and Super Beetle in a fight much like this before at King of Extreme, yes. where it was a falls count anywhere match. This is not such the case. This has to be decided in the ring if a number one contender is to be named. Absolutely. And going back to the King of Extreme, I mean, they went to extreme measures in that match. But in this match, although yes, weapons are, were not used in this match, because of course that would be a disqualification. Let's hope not. It, it, it's more diabolical from Super Beetle's side. Oh my god. And head. I feel like in this time, Super Beetle doesn't care at this point. Absolutely. Head right into the ring post there. And Dustin in a lot of trouble right now. Oh, come on, Beetle. This is not you. Listen, I think we're done negotiating with this guy for now. I, I, he's one of my favorites and one of my superheroes. He's the guy I looked up to. But now, I mean... He's so far from that, but this may be what decides, oh, oh, what decides the number one contender right now. This brutality, it is not saying die. Oh God, what's he got planned here? No, 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 oh. Once again, ribs right into that brutal steel barricade. Oh. Super Beetle adjusting, readjusting the 10 count here. Listen, Victor Quaid has an obligation. If a winner is not going to be decided here on the outside, Victor Quaid has an obligation, count on or no, to dictate this match down the middle. I mean, come on now. Oh, no, 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 no. This oh, ended King of Extreme not long ago. That bug juice on the, oh no. Wait, in the crowd. Oh. Dustin Daniels among the people, the MBW faithful right now. Back oh. in the ring. What? <laughs> so bugs on the outside. Did you see the height of that? The athleticism! The height, the rip, right on top of the horn of Super Beetle! Dustin Daniels reversing in the nick of time! And, Vic, and Victor Quintes, the referee, checking on both men. And as you said, he has an obligation to count out both or just call the match down the middle. Listen, I, I, but a number one contender's gotta be decided here! I mean, I, it can't be like this! This fight can't continue like this! It's gotta be decided in that ring, pinfall, submission, whatever it is! Whatever it takes! to name a new challenger to the MPW title here at MPW Blackheart. Absolutely, and Victor Quince has had a count of five now, Barry. Both men have not stood up. Listen, Beetle got just crunched on that suplex, just dumped right on top of his head. And Dustin has been just absolutely beaten within an inch of his life. Oh my God, Victor had a count of nine. No, 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 can't land like this. 
Oh, both back in the ring in the nick of time! At the feet, just crawling to the ring. And look at the stare off right here. The intensity, the aggression of both men. Head to horn! One must win! One must be decided! Number one contendership in our main event! This is Millennium Pro Wrestling! Absolutely, back and forth. They're not stopping right here. Open hand, palm strikes, boss rooting like by Super Beetle and Dustin Daniels. Oh. And double clotheslines the boot, matching each other in ferocity and energy and raw power. Oh! oh. He cut the horn button to a DDT, intercepted in the nick of time. Beautiful. Dustin's got to capitalize. Super Beetle set reeling. Dustin Daniels has the Super Beetle over here. Oh, and a huge clothesline. And Dustin Jack Daniels is proving why he is a main event star, Barry. Absolutely running the show here, but no! Over and on the top rope. Ooh. Oh, checks the midsection. Off the ropes. Oh, another <laughs> DDT! This could be it, middle of the ring, cover! Two count says Victor Quintus. That was so close to being a three. Two DDTs in a row, drilling that hole into the ring canvas, and not one winner decided. This is MBW Wrestling. This is MBW's Black Heart, and this is MBW's main event. Absolutely. You can fans, you can watch main events like this every single Friday night here at 19801 Nordoff Place in Chatsworth, California, 7:30 Bell Time. Justin Daniels calling his shot, calling his contendership. To Denny Devine's title. Going for that hook and ladder. No. Quick oh. roll up. Wait Into the ropes. Oh, oh my God. Super kicked him while he was caught in the ropes. Oh, oh no. no, 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 no. Oh, oh and a DDT rope hung. Courtesy of Beetle. Only a two count since Victor quit. That was so close to being a three. And Super Beetle is in disbelief right now. He is emptying the clip on Dustin Daniels, and he still is trying to regain his feet here. Still fighting, even after getting drilled on top of his head like that. Dustin's in rough shape. Look at his chest. Look how red his chest is. Look how bad his ribs are right now. As long as I've known Dustin Daniels, Barry Sweeney, I've seen this version of Dustin Daniels before. He has the heart. He has the determination. And even battered down, he still fights. And listen to the MPW faithful here. It's been a long time since we've heard them cheer for Dustin Daniels' name. And Super Beetle's got to take onus with that. Oh, no way. Fireman scary position. Oh, squats. Deep squats. Resilience in the face of... Oh, oh I was going for three right there. Beetle. Oh, oh pile driver. Oh, my God. Oh, God. That's it. No. Only a two count. And you see the frustration Beetle has with Victor Quentes. Beetle, you can't throw it away here on a DQ. You can't antagonize a ref like this. Snapping pile driver. I mean, look at Dustin right now, man. He is in bad, bad shape. Oh, no, no. Oh, oh my God. The resilience that never say die. Dustin Daniels proving why he is MPW. <laughs> Oh my god, once again that fireman's carry struggling to get him on his shoulders there. One oh. and still oh. the squads into a gut buster! The knees to the gut takes out Super Beetle cover. The fingertips on the rope berry. Super Beetle's ring awareness is something that he has in his bag, good or for ill, and right now it is quenched. Dustin Daniels' chances at a title. This match still continues here in our main event of MPW Blackheart. Absolutely, and what a main event this is. Two of the very best in that ring showing that right now. Again, as you said, MPW Blackheart main event. Dustin Daniels just fighting to his feet. Even after a DDT like that clutching his neck, even after a pile driver like that that would have taken any mortal man out of commission. He is still on his feet. The fact that he's just fighting at all goes to show the grit, the determination he has. He has that championship in his sights. Absolutely. Pointing at the MPW sign and now a double underhook. This is right here, Barry. Perhaps going for that pedigree famous by Danny Devine. Oh, hard butt! This could be it, but Dustin Daniels out of the ring! That is decided matches time and time again! But Dustin Daniels out of the ring and so go Super Beetle's chances at winning this match. 
Beetle has taken out so many other competitors in the past with that horn butt, but not Dustin Jack Daniels. Listen, it, he could have very well won that match right there. He's not up yet. I think he could very well be knocked out just clutching that head on nerve endings alone, but he rolled out of the ring. It could have been just inertia sending him that way, but the fates aligned and this match continues. But they're outside right now. Such dangerous territory. And now Beetle throwing him back in the ring. Beetle, what are you doing? This doesn't look good, Barry. Nothing good. Go for those bees knees. No, no oh. one home. Oh, wait a minute. Jack oh. knife pin. Oh my Justin God. Justin Daniels takes it. Justin Daniels is number one contender. Oh, Beetle, 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 no. Oh, no, no. no. Oh, power bomb from Beetle, come on. Beetle, what are you doing? Oh, now Super Ops in the ring. Whether it was Beetle, whether it was Super Hops. Hopkins asking for a mic. That's enough. That's enough. Look at me. Look at me. Enough of this. Week after week, you've been putting all your frustration in the wrong place. So let me help you. Next week, me and you, put your frustration on me, and I'm going to fix this. Super Hops bearing the cross. Is this what you want? This is what you wanted, right? You made that choice yourself, Beetle. That's right. You turned your back on me, and you turned your back on them! And so next week, we're not friends because we got a civil war. That was, I am the new number one contender for the MPW Championship. Look at this, the brothers divine. This doesn't look good, Barry. What, they're and in two what? weeks, Glow two weeks from in now, the face of everyone else here. facing that at the California. Maybe they're congratulating him, I don't know. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, Dustin Daniels! I don't know what I expected. Dustin, that was a hell of a match. That was a match that earned you a championship match against me. And you know, Dustin, despite what everybody thinks, especially Greg, Despite what they all think, I have always had your best interest in mind. Ugh. I don't know about that. A long time ago, Dustin, before any of these people even remember, except for maybe a couple of them, they might remember. Dustin, tell everyone, who was your first pro wrestling match ever? Danny Devine. And who, who coached you and helped you and turned you into the wrestler you are today? Tell, tell everyone. Danny Devine. That's right. That's right. So you know what? I'm excited. This is the biggest main event possibly in company history. Teacher versus student, champion versus challenger, Dustin Daniels, Danny Devine for the MPW Championship. I think it's time, you're right. You've been trying to tell me I don't have to do it the way I'm doing it. So I say, no outside nonsense, no nothing. You and me in the middle of the ring, let's settle it. Let's settle it, yeah? 
Is that what you people want? Fine, so you know what, Dustin? I will see you in two weeks at the California Classic. All right. yeah. If you make it there. Wait. Oh, wait, what? No! No! Man, come on! Daddy, why? What lows will a champion not seek to? This is despicable! This is outrageous! Why, Danny? Why would you say that? No, 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 Wait a minute. What the hell is that? What's in that bag? No! Not Insult to injury. Uh, come on. No! And finally, Victor Quintus and the referee's coming out. Listen, thanks for taking your smoke break here. Meanwhile, we're gonna get in the ring. The Divines is locking things down! Oh! Ah! I knew something was up, Barry. I knew it from the very beginning. There are no lows that the MPW champion won't sink to. This is outstandingly awful. Come on, Danny, stop it. What do you have more to prove? And Pinky Santino finally coming. General Manager Pinky Santino, lay down the law, please. Danny, Danny, you think just because you hold that, you can do whatever you want here? Let me tell you something, you can't. Next week, you get ready. Me and you are going to have a little talk. Because this, this, we are not standing for this. <laughs>